All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Just finished watching Vince McMahon's major sports announcement there. And McMahon is bringing back the XFL, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I watched a couple games of it back in the day there. You know, I have nothing against it. It's going to be happening in 2020. Um, you know, Vince is putting his own money into this shit. A hundred million from his own stocks to start this shit. He said that um, he wants to make it a faster game. He said three hours can get boring, and I fully agree. Um, very rare that I watch sports or whatever. Um, you know, a, a short game of football produced by McMahon might, you know, give that a chance, might watch at least a couple games or whatever. He says he wants it to be family friendly. Um, they're going to try to make it as safe as possible. They're going to listen to the pros and, you know, medical professionals to try to make the game safe. Uh, no half times, stuff like this. Um, and he says it's not going to be about, you know, politics and social issues, stuff like this, he said, you know, there's going to be rules that people have to follow, um, he said the national anthem, it's, uh, you know, it's like a tradition, the national anthem before games, so, you know, pretty much people are going to have to respect the national anthem, Shit like this, he said, somebody asked him if Colin Kaepernick is allowed in the league. He's like, sure, why not, or something. But he said people are going to have to follow the rules. He doesn't have any cities in mind. He probably does there, but he's not revealing anything right now. He wants to start with eight teams about 40 players per team, so something close to the CFL, I guess, there. Um, you know, I'm all for it. I know people are going to rage or fake rage about it, you know. If he wants to bring back the XFL, it's his choice. He says it's going to play on multiple platforms, TV, uh, different things there. He doesn't really go into that much detail, but they asked him, what did you learn from the first XFL? You know, what kind of mistake did you do that you're going to make sure not to do again type of deal? He said the quality of the play. So he wants to make sure that it's good games no WWE crossovers of any kind. He's not going to be like the face of the company. He's not going to be on TV talking before a, a game. Like, like if it's a wrestling show like he did in the past, you know. So those are pretty much the details that he spoke about. I'm interested. I might watch a couple games of foosball, Bobby. You know, if it's only two hours long, I'll watch a few games. If I fall asleep like I do with most sports, then I'll probably not watch that many games there. But if it's produced by McMahon, what the fuck, I might watch it. You never know there. Might become a football analyst here on YouTube. You know? Never know at the time. But, um, yeah. McMahon bringing back XFL. I, I have no problem with it personally. Not sure why anybody else would there. So, yeah. XFL's coming back. Are you excited? Ha! 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 Excited! Ha! 
Until next time, peace! <laughs>